Hey everybody, uh, welcome to week 9. First up, we have another shot of my Snake Mountain display. I uh, got all the evil warriors here. I wanted to do a top-down shot to kind of show a little more of um, what the display looks like. Uh, again, you've got in the background here, um, this is chalk and paint drawing of kind of like a moon with a like, little glow effect and like a spiral. I had taken a little bit of inspiration from uh, Filmation, not really an artist, but I wanted to have something um, colors-wise that kind of, um, you know, went with it, so that's what I did. Uh, the ground is some of those little um, corkboard pieces that you can buy at the dollar store. I uh, just took them, I put a little bit of sand on them, I painted them, uh, put a little more sand on the top after I painted them, just kind of give it like a little bit of a textured ground feel. It's pretty basic, um, but I like how the effects um, come out. I mean, you look at it, it looks, you know, like Snake Mountain could be sitting there. I don't know. Uh, I like how the whole display comes together. Again, this is just paper. You got the skulls down here, uh, the top-down view, and you kind of see how it's like flowing through. Um, Again, this is more paper. This is painted in with water and glue uh, onto little far, uh, foam carved rocks. And I painted them up and just kind of put a row of them uh, and then I glued them down and then paste, uh, painted the paper with glue around them, kind of solidify them. Um, I like the effect. Uh, again, this is just kind of me showing what's on my shelf, but. I like my Snake Mountain display, although it's going to change drastically pretty soon because I just got the new Snake Mountain in. Okay, up next. Uh, it's a pretty basic one here. Uh, you got the CGI He Man with the CGI Gray Skull. If I was to do this one again, I'd definitely put some ground. It's just on a plain white shelf um, with plain white. In the background so I'd put like a backdrop I'd probably put some lights in the castle uh, try to get the lights on the castle um, going when I take the picture I probably will reshoot this one um, at some point and then next up this is everybody you know the attorney thing was getting ready to go we were close to Keklar so I decided to share um, a page from the comic with him, him and the other elder, elders creating uh, Castle Grayskull. Not a toy shot, just uh, something else that's on my page because I was trying to, you know, get hype going. I probably had like 20 followers back then. I don't remember how many it was, but yeah, I was trying. And then next up, a couple more shots of me trying to promote Eternia. Uh, this one is just, I got the place set down, set up a bunch of the figures. Um, looking forward to the new one. It's going to be uh, bigger, more room, uh, more play features. But this is cool. If I was to do this one again, I would definitely do um, ground and some extra terrain. Maybe throw the battle mountains in there. Um, definitely do like a backdrop. Um, but I probably won't take another picture with Eternia until the new one comes in and I set it up. Um... Again, here's just some more shots of it. Just kind of showing, like, hey, here's that playset that everybody's talking about. Yep. Looking forward to seeing the new one in action with the motorized tram and all the new features and a bunch of the new characters. So that'll be a lot of fun when it comes in. Uh, up next, still being like, hey, go buy Eternia, damn it. I want that Keklar. Um... <laughs> didn't work out, but just He-Man and uh, Skeletor crossing swords. This is the 40th anniversary. These are the nice metal um, swords. You can see the kind of sheen that they have. You can see the fuzzies on He-Man's underoos. Um, yeah, it's a cool shot. I probably will do a similar shot to this, hopefully with a little bit more um, dynamic action and lighting. And then up next, this is one of the first pictures I ever took with my toys. Um, so this is before I had actually built my display shelves. They were just kind of sitting in a random corner. 
and I would play with them and I wanted to take a picture mostly because I wanted to be able to look at my toys when I um, wasn't at home so yeah I took a couple pictures this is I was just playing with them I put Fisto's mouth in uh, <laughs> Panthor's uh, fist, Fisto's fist in Panthor's mouth uh, sorry I kind of laughing about how like even then I was doing things with Fisto um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, this one, um, this is, like, the first thing I did with Clamp Champ when I got him. I was, like, got his clamps, put him on the, um, the land shark with, uh, somebody in here, you know, just kind of, like, he's getting the drop on him, and he's clamping the gun so that they can't, uh, do any attacks. Um, he fits up there really well. It's nice to put both of his claws to use in a picture. Um, yeah, that was a fun shot. I like, um... I like the idea of that one. I might do that one again, too. Um, and then last up is another one of my really old um, pictures. Uh, it's just, you know, Evil Inn fighting sorcerers to get into Castle Grayskull. we got Manny Faces in the back over here riding the most impractical Mo2 vehicle of all times, the Dragon Walker. Um, but yeah, this was, like I said, I was um, I wanted to have pictures of my toys so that I could look at them when I wasn't home. I was so enamored with Origins uh, when I first got back into toy collecting. Like, they would occupy a lot of brain space. So, yeah, it was fun. Um, still having fun with it, despite some of the frustrations I have with the distribution and the exclusives and all that nonsense. I'm sure you've heard me rant about a time or two. Uh, so... That was week nine. Um, next week is going to, I think, be the last of my just like, hey, here's a thing um, pictures. And we'll start getting into um, some more stories and um, playing with lighting a lot more. Um, yeah, and just kind of diversifying. Um, and then after that, I think it's going to be just shot after shot after shot that are hits no i'm kidding um there's definitely still a lot of room for improvement but i'm having fun with it i hope you guys are enjoying it i got a few more followers this week so welcome in everybody please keep checking it out uh go check out my instagram like share subscribe all those fun things and i will see everybody later have a good night